What is going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel Bobin Hood. This is Bob. In today's video guys, I am going to show you that I did pull the trigger and I sold all of my stocks, all $200,000 worth of it. So let's get started. As you guys can see here, I did sell all of my stocks. I have no shares at all, no doge. I did sell everything. So right now I'm sitting at $102,617.42. I am up $5,558 today. I was down quite a bit. I did a very, very risky, um, I bought a put on Ford and Ford kept on going up. Luckily it did fall. So I was able to make about $1,000 on that call. But the day I'm up 5,500, the week I'm up $5,404. For the month, I'm up $18,827. For the three month, I'm up $35,719. For the year, guys, I'm up $50,256. That's 95%. And all time, guys, I'm up $42,645. That's up 71% right now. So if you did not catch my video yesterday, I did tell everyone I was selling quick two reasons why. One, I am up $40,000 in five months. I didn't think I would get that high until the end of next year. And the second thing, I believe we are going to have a pullback. If you do check history out, June is a really weak month for the stocks, especially starting the third quarter. And with inflation possibly going up, crypto going down, it's definitely a lot of things that could happen short term. I hope that I am wrong, but for now, I am happy with the profits that I have, and I will be selling puts on Tesla, which I have already. That's why you see the buying power is only at $42. I did sell a put. Uh, it did expire worthless. I did that today. It was a very small premium, um, and that money should be back in the buying power by this weekend. So if we check out all of the moves I did today. I wasn't too, too worried about the price I was selling at. I was kind of just trying to sell them so I don't have to worry about trying to pick and choose on when to sell and when not to sell. So I did sell my Dogecoin. I did lose about 50 bucks off of this. Um, I sold it for $518, average price of 31, 60, 31 cents uh, Alibaba, these are the Ford puts. So here, I was lucky to sell them for $55. It was as high as 62 and as low as like 42. So I could have lost a lot more money um, on this play. So I did 30, about 30 something thousand dollars of this, about 35, 36 thousand dollars worth of Ford puts, which I normally don't do. So I don't even know why I did that. Uh, this is right here. I did do a sell put for Tesla. As you can see, I did this today at like one o'clock at a $600 strike price and Tesla was at 630 and they paid me $41 for just a few hours for stock to go for Tesla to go down $30. Um, here I sold Microsoft average cost of $250.84. So next one I sold was Alibaba average price of $213.08. Apple I sold at 124.92, AT&T I sold at 29.62, Realty Income I sold 68.20. That was the first one I um, sold today. So I sold all of my stocks. And if you look at my weekly options here, I was kind of in the hole with Tesla because Tesla started to go up higher and higher. But I did do a lot of sell calls, buy calls, sell puts and total I did end up only $119 profit. But like I said, I started in the hole, but for the most part, I am up overall. And if you look here, guys, with all of the stocks that I've had in 22 weeks, this was all this money that I made previous to buying this other stocks. I bought this about a week, maybe a week and a half ago. So I was at 27,358. So I made another $3,700 on Tesla, $1,300 on Realty Income, $540 on AT&T, $700 with Microsoft. Um, I lost $4, which isn't a big deal with Alibaba because I made it back on the options. 
Apple I lost 64. I kind of broke even with Apple. Bumble was the one that I kind of missed the opportunity on. So I sold it at 43.82. It's all it went all the way up to I think 48 dollars. So, but I still made 737 dollars. So I'm still not mad at that. So in 22 weeks, guys, I made 34,374 dollars. And with options, I broke just over forty thousand dollars in twenty-two weeks. So, like I said, I'm still going to be selling puts. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but this is kind of where I'm at. This is all the prices I sold them for, and these are the prices that I hope I will be able to buy them for if they go down that low. If they don't, I will probably just continue to sell puts because I'm really interested in the option side um, at the moment. But let's go over my strategy that I'm going to be doing um, hopefully sooner than later. So I plan on doing this next week on Tuesday if Tesla hopefully opens up in the red. Sorry for all you Tesla fans, but I hope that they open in the red so it's a better opportunity for me to sell a put. So what I would do is trade Tesla option. I would sell a put. So basically what this is I'm picking a strike price for 100 shares, so this would be times 100, and I want to pick a safe strike price, so I'm doing it weekly. So my goal is not to be too greedy, I'm just interested in getting about $500 a week, which I did the math already for you guys, that's about $26,000 a year just selling Tesla puts. I'm trying to get enough money to be able to sell two Tesla puts. Um, because when you use margins, they don't let you use the margins for the option play on here. So I would just look for the $500. So I technically could have done it today, a $600 strike price in a week, $500 premium, and they would have held $60,000 um, out of my pocket. But for the first few weeks, I'm going to even be more safe. I'm probably going to go to a $300 strike price-ish. So I would probably pick a range in between, next week I'll probably go from 580 to 590 range um, because I don't believe they'll drop that fast in a week, but it could always happen because they actually went up that fast in about a week and a half or two weeks. So that's my play for now. And the other play is going to be Alibaba. It's not the biggest um, amount of premium but it's the second highest one that I could see that I felt safe with Alibaba has already kind of took a big hit I believe for the past six months already so what I would do with Alibaba I would do the same thing I would trade an option so I have about just over a hundred thousand dollars so if I picked a six hundred dollar strike price that would hold sixty thousand then I could do two Alibaba um, prices and that would give me a total of three sell calls sell puts so if we go to Alibaba trade come on all right Alibaba trade and then if we picked I would probably go for a hundred dollar premium so if we went with next week, $100 premium. So I would not I would either go with a 210 or a 207 strike price, depending on what time they open. Um, but they definitely can get to around the 210. I may go really safe with Alibaba for the most part uh, and just try to get a $70, $75 premium at the moment. But we'll see what happens on Tuesday because it is a shorter week and I will have less opportunity to get a higher premium so next week with Tesla I'll probably get 250 and with Alibaba I'll probably get 50 for the first week so that'll be about $350 for that week but like I said trying to get to about 500 to $700 a week and I'll be happy with that for the most part and if the stocks do go down and hits all my prices I will probably buy back in slowly and probably hold off on the margins um, just because, like I said, we never know what's going to happen. I mean, this, the stocks themselves could skyrocket. I could be 100% wrong. But if that happens, I still will be getting my $700 premium a week. So either way, I'll be fine with the outcome if it's good or bad. 
So I just wanted to share this, guys, with you. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel and haven't subscribed yet, please definitely do. I'm trying to get to my 500 subscription goal. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know how you guys did this week and what you guys are planning. If you have any extra money on the side just in case something happens to buy on the dip. So definitely hit the like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you guys. You guys have a wonderful day.